is the day that I've been dreading for a lot of days. Most of you guys know that a couple months ago I got called into the police to discuss a heinous crime that I've been accused of committing against Germany, which was of course creating art that shows off the beauty of this country, which is an absolutely heinous crime that must be stopped and punished. Here we go. I know this video started off with a little bit of bad vibes, but it's not all bad vibes in my life right now. Let's pop back to Saturday, where we played for the GFL South title game. Let's go back in time. Guys, Ugh, it's game day. Nothing in the world gives me this feeling like football. This blend of nervousness and excitement and anticipation, and I freaking hate the feeling, and I love it at the same time and I'm glad that I get to experience it basically once a week. Uh, anyway, we've got a game today at home. If we win today, we are the GFL South champions, which is a big deal, gives us home field advantage in the playoffs, so today's a big day. And we're having a pajama party at our apartment after the game, so huge, fun day. Come along with. Guten Nacht, Miktag. Guten Nacht, Miktag. Ahim. Yo. Tag. No. You can't just say day, man. That makes sense. Tag. He was asking if you could just say if you could just say day. You say tag. Was it? Were you? Do weird stuff like that, man. Germans do do weird stuff like that. See, they do do. They would say something like, "Hey, you too." Tag. Tag. Like guten tag. It's, hey guys, if we just say tag to you, it means guten tag. It's the new American German slang. You're oh. welcome. See you, Rudy. <laughs> All right, Rudy. And uh, Hi, Nick. what's your name? Oh, uh, okay, Rudy. Bye, bye Sheila. Sheila. Okay, bye, Sheila. I don't think she heard me. Bye, Terry. Bye, Sheila. I'll never forget tonight. Bye, Terry. All right, Alan, whatever. Go inside. Bye, Sheila. Bye. See, you, see you, Terry. Bye, Sheila. I don't know if you heard me. Bye, Terry. Bye, Sheila. All right, we're going to put in this uh, American pop culture reference for you guys so you understand these hilarious oh, jokes geez. that we are making. <laughs> What's talking about you? My name. We were saying Gary's the loser. Actually, we were saying uh, the thing you do where you run out and you throw the smoke up is really cool. Are you doing that today? I don't know what you're saying, man. You know, when, you, when your name gets called, you run out and you toss up the chalk like LeBron? The chalk. That's magic. <laughs> magic. Sports and magic. Sports and magic. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of when people try and be like super motivational and stuff and it feels forced but today I was really feeling that vibe and if you follow me on Instagram you saw I posted kind of motivational quote from uh, the movie character Rocky Balboa. I don't know I was just really really feeling that vibe today. I was thinking about uh, when I was younger. Let me tell you a story. When I was younger I loved 
basketball. I didn't really care about football that much. I love basketball. I want to be a basketball player. I got to high school and I got cut from the basketball team my freshman year. And I was so upset and devastated, but then I turned that into just like rage and fuel and I started working out all the time and training to get ready for next year's basketball season to make the basketball team. And I worked out all year and then came football season before basketball season. All of a sudden I was pretty good at football because I had worked out all year. And then I came back and after football, I made the basketball team. But at that time, I didn't really care about basketball anymore. I had fallen in love with football. And now I play football professionally in Germany. So it just goes to show you, you know, it doesn't matter how hard you get hit. It matters how hard you can get hit and keep going. That's the quote basically that uh, I posted from Rocky Balboa. Okay guys, so hopefully that's not too cheesy, but I was just really feeling that vibe today. All right, now we've got our game and I gotta go play some football. I'll see you afterward. No, is it good? I might need to get tomorrow morning, actually. I think that I, um, but I kind of bought the same coffee we used before. So like, yeah, I think I'm going to need to try it tomorrow morning. This one's not going in the dishwasher. It's broken. You are so German! What is this called, Speedy? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to clean up um, from our party uh, with Speedy, and uh, she just keeps changing where I put all the trash because I keep putting it in the wrong spots because it's so hard to know. Good job, doing great. Almost halfway done with the haul. Good job. See, Chodes, putting her to work while you're gone. Don't, 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 don't. Wow! Yeah! Now I'm back, you guy! All right, lovely humans, back to today and the bad vibes of the letter from the police. So, as you guys know, I got in trouble for flying my drone um, in some places where I was not allowed to fly my drone. This is when I was ignorant about all of the drone laws in Germany. Germany is literally, literally the worst country in the world when it comes to drone laws. By worst, I just mean the most strict. You basically cannot fly a drone anywhere except an open grass field where there's no people. And you have to have 40 licenses and uh, pre-approval from like six months of it. All sorts of stuff. I'm exaggerating, but it's all true. Um, so anyway, I got this fine from the police that I've been waiting for this letter for a while. Uh, I've been pretty nervous and anxious about it actually because the fine could be pretty big and they actually ended up only fining me 250 euros, which um, is a lot of money still, but it's much better than it could be. And I just have to say that my experience with the police in Germany was pretty positive. They were super, super cool to me. Say, hey, yeah, we got a complaint. Somebody wrote an email and complained about this um, and said that, you know, this is going on. And so we had to check it out. We had to look into it. Um, and so they had to bring me in legally. But they were very cool, friendly, and, and um, explained to me the situation and overall very positive. 
um, experience with them. So to the police of Schreibisch Hall and the police that I have interacted with, thank you for being so cool. To the uh, people who decided to call and email the police about um, some beautiful drone shots, on one hand, I understand it. It's the law, gotta follow the rules. I do get that. On the other hand, what the hell?